Hello grade 5! Welcome to our science class. We are now on our quarter 4, week 1, with our lip, our learner's pocket. Describe how rocks turn into soil. Earth is mainly composed of rocks that differ in terms of sizes, shapes, and colors. Though rocks seem to be very hard, dense, and indestructible, they still break. Rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by the effects of weather. These pieces do not move to a new location. They simply break down but remain next to one another. The breaking of rocks into fragments is known as weathering. Weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. The breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different landforms. This is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Weathering can either be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. Chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. Look at the example in this picture. There are agents of weathering. Water can break rocks in different ways. The strong waves that seep into the cracks of rocks can make them break. When it gets colder, this water can expand and turn into ice which can trigger rocks to break as well. Wind is another agent of weathering that causes beautiful formations like the Mahayo Arc in Sabtang Island, Batanes, Philippines. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. This can bring about mechanical weathering which can also result to different rock formations. When rocks are exposed to varying temperature, it expands. If rocks are exposed to a low temperature, it contracts. The repeated expansion and contraction of rocks due to changes in temperature results in weathering. Some plants, like lichens, ferns, and mosses, can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and causes them to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic or life process of these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. As burrowing animals dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. Humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks. Subdivision developers use bulldozers to flatten mountains or hills to build houses. Some construction workers use jackhammer to break boulders of rocks as they repair roads. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or an open pit mine. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on quarry sites to get more rocks or stones which can trigger landslides. Look at the example of erosion by water. Uh-oh! And this is an example of erosion by wind. We have here our learning task after our lesson. 
identify the change happening in its situation. On the space provided before its number, draw an emoji with a heart in the eyes if the change is an example of mechanical weathering and a wow emoji if it is an example of an chemical of a chemical weathering. Number one, a boulder of shore is slowly broken apart by the force of water. Number two, earthworm makes tunnels in the ground which may lead to the breakdown of stones and rocks. Some plants release chemicals which loosen the rocks and cause them to break. Number four, water inside the rocks freezes and melts again. Number five, the chemical composition of rocks changes when acid is produced by the roots of some plants. Number six, minerals in rocks dissolve. Number seven, three roots can grow into cracks and break rock apart. Number eight, as the wind blows, it carries sand or small rocks particles that scratch the rock surface. Number nine, as the rocks expand, the cracks become deeper and new cracks are produced. Rocks exposed to the in intense heat of the sun crack and crumble when rain falls or soak in the ground. Goodbye class, hope you learned something.